Denuvo, for those of you unaware, Denuvo is the um, DRM service put into some games. DRM is basically the check to see if you actually own the game. Um, but a lot of people don't like it because uh, it's, it, it causes performance issues. But it's a way to keep people from stealing games. Uh, Ubisoft games usually have them. Not every game has Denuvo, but some companies choose to use it. So I already know what I already um I already I already know what this article. I'm gonna just go ahead and summarize it for you. So basically, Denuvo is rolling out a new feature inside of their service, and for people who use this inside of their games, not only can they track whether or not you stole the game, but now they have an invisible watermark built inside of Denuvo. So let's say I don't know. Marvel Rivals, right? The new Overwatch clone. I just dropped the video about it. It's coming out soon. They're going to be doing a closed alpha test. I don't know because I haven't read the paperwork. I don't know whether or not um, you'll be able to stream or post that online or into YouTube. But let's, for the sake of this conversation, let's pretend like you can't. Let's say it's a closed alpha where all you're supposed to do is play the game and give feedback. If you play that game and you record content and they have this new Denuvo built into it, there will be an invisible watermark on your video. So it doesn't matter if you log into your burner Reddit account, your burner Twitter account, and post that video onto social media because you're trying to get some clout. They will know who the fuck did it. So I wanted to bring this up to tell y'all, first and foremost, if, you get, if you're lucky enough, whether you're a content creator or an everyday person, if you're lucky enough to get early access to a game, you shouldn't be breaking NDA anyway. You signed one. But now you really shouldn't be uh, breaking NDA because I don't, you don't know which games are going to have Denuvo and not. So I'm giving y'all advice. Just assume every game has this shit because I guarantee you they're going to go to market and they're going to sell this shit. They're going to be like, hey, man, you want to do a beta? Put our put our shit in your game and it'll protect you. Your dumbass uh, uh, records a clip, uploads it to social media. They're going to see that clip, they're going to download it, and then they're going to use their proprietary software to analyze it. And they're going to say, Big Booty Shaker and Ugg Boots, Naked Nigga, BBC 69, uploaded this shit, you're done. You're going to hell. <laughs> you're going to, your, your account is getting banned. So I'm bringing this up. Um, I use Mid Journey Nidric for, for AI shit. Uh, I'm bringing this up to let y'all know there is some new snitch federal ass software on the rise do not be the dumbass to leak the beta because <laughs> your ass might get in trouble so i'm just trying i'm just trying to look out for the people i feel like i didn't because even this article this article slid past my radar and I, so i don't feel like i saw anybody talk about this shit i only saw it because i saw it in a game ranks video and i instantly opened my phone and went on google and searched for the article so shout out the game ranks i feel like this is important information for those out there, whether you just want to try out new games or you want to be a content creator, protect yourself because they out there protecting themselves. Um, you never have roaches crawling in your cereal box. Nah, I can't say that. Not just important for gaming either. I mean, they could find a way to install this software into music or something like that. They could they could find people like leaking the music. Uh, don't get fired. Leaking company info. Ding, 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 ding. You shouldn't be doing it in the first place, but you got even more reason to protect yourself. What are you bringing me, dude? Oh. Oh. Yo. Dun, dun. So now you're, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Next. Um, Stellar BBL has the highest Metacritic score of any PS5 game to date. Not the highest PS5 Metacritic score, which for those unaware, the Metacritic is an average of reviews they take everybody's reviews and they do a number so that means most people are giving this like a 9.5 or higher because it averaged a 9.3 stellar blade now has the highest metacritic user score of any ps5 game to date with a 9.3 it's also the highest user score of 2024 and to that i want to bring up i gotta ask how are we feeling about this game i'm playing it i actually played a little bit yesterday off stream so i'm not where i last left off i beat the first like big boss off stream um and i gotta say i don't agree with the score so i gotta i gotta bring it up i do like the game but ba and i could be wrong maybe my maybe my opinion will have changed but where i'm at right now i still feel exactly how i feel when i was playing the demo it feels like an eight out of ten a solid eight the platforming is very rough um the stealth mechanics suck um 
just some of the mechanics are just super janky. Oh, the story's not that interesting. The voice acting is very flat. I think the strongest thing about this game is the combat. The combat in this game hard carries, but a lot of the other stuff around it is very undercooked from what I've seen so far, but I'm feeling like a solid eight. The gameplay is strong enough that it's a, I was about to Google Stellar BBL because it's called Stellar Blade. People are calling it Stel Stellar BBL because she got a fat ass in the game. Um, so like, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck did this 9.3, I'm not saying people are lying, but I do kind of feel like, this is, is the score getting inflated a little bit due to all the controversy with this game? For those of you unaware, um, what's the name? The game has been dealing with censorship. They, they kind of cleaned up some of the outfits. Some people out there were writing articles saying you don't know anything about women if you like this game. And it feels like kind of like the internet is backlashing at those people and boosting up the score. I just, 9.3, like, you think this is as good as Elden Ring? Like, I don't know. You know oh, the music is good in this game. It's funny. Have y'all seen the petition? Let me see if I can, uh, Stellar Blade Petition. Can we stop call adding two inches of skin to censorship, LOL? What? Sound like crying over nothing. Okay, I think, is this one of the videos? This is one of the videos. All right, so there's a video going, there's there's a petition going around. Let me explain this story for you guys. So there's an outfit in um, Stellar Blade. It's a, it's a onesie, it's a bathing suit. And the original outfit, it shows a little bit more of like the outside of the cooter, the coochie. And the developers decided that was a little too much. So they they patched it and they made the uh, the outfit cover more of her body. Me personally, I, can't, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. But a lot of niggas was upset saying censorship, Games deserve to be sexy, and motherfuckers made a petition online saying bring back the original outfits. And in that petition, people were uploading videos petitioning, saying you need to stop censoring Sony. So like the videos have been circulating online, and people they look exactly how you think people like this are. I'm just. Hey, my name is Elliot Gomez, and I'm and I'm here recording this video, letting you know to flee Stellar Blade from censorship. This has gone too far, Sony. Why would you do this? You're a hypocrite for doing this. Please, please stay away from censorship. <sighs> Videos like this hurt too because <laughs> it hurts because you remember in the article, IG in France, that writer got a lot of, they got a lot of flack because in the article they said, Stellar Blade is a bad game because Eve, the main character, is a glorified sex doll. It's over-sexualized and people are missing the plot. And it got a lot of pushback. People were saying just because something is sexy doesn't mean that it's bad. That's okay. And the game is fun. And I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of, I'm on that side. It doesn't make you a bad person to like an attractive woman, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to fucking lie. Niggas like this in this petition you're not helping normal niggas arguments. You're not helping normal niggas arguments when you, it looks, it makes it look like that IG in France article is correct. It's fucking crazy. Y'all gotta be quiet. Y'all don't need to be on the front forefront. Let niggas like me who shave, bathe, <laughs> go outside, let me speak, okay? You, you don't need to say anything. Yeah, ruin the whole point. You on the, we don't need you on the front lines. Get in the back. Get in the fucking Behind back. Behind me is my collection of PlayStation, which I've amassed for years. Sony, this means war. Woke mob, this means war. They think that Asian grown women look like children, and it's ridiculous. It's not their fault the way they look. Woke propaganda BS. We can and will cancel PSN. Abby from The Last of Us, full frontal nudity. <laughs> the games used in second hand full jiggle physics the last of us part two <laughs> with the sex scene full hardcore sex scenes last of us two abby not an ounce of its censor full frontal nude scenes so this is crazy the male gaze they this really is... need to stop using that this nigga said <laughs> this nigga said you need to appeal to the male gaze now do i feel like sometimes the internet be going too hard on certain topics and the pendulum is swinging too far left, yes. But also we do have to acknowledge normal niggas, normal niggas in the chat, we have to acknowledge people like this exist. This nigga said she needs to appeal to the male gaze. That's a crazy statement. That's a crazy fucking statement. 
We cannot. We these niggas do not speak for Why us. Why <laughs> celebrate center? That's pretty stupid, man. This this is not acceptable. This is wrong. Oh boy. Can we just get those nipples and vagina bone back? Thank you. <laughs> you need to change the game back and leave it alone. Behind me is. Now, I sit on this stream and I clown niggas for not washing their ass, not being normal, not talking to people. We have to bring shame back. It's okay. Long as shame is not overused and used correctly, we can correct society. I don't want to hear nobody talking to me about me being an asshole when I talk about niggas need to wash their ass. These are the type of people you would see at these fucking conventions and shit like that. And people think that I'm making this shit up, bro. It's not healthy. It's a fucking video game. It's not that goddamn deep. You're not going to play the $70 game that you paid for because they covered up her coochie. Go outside, man. It's on. This is ridiculous, man. Because I genuinely like the game. The game's good. The character just happens to be sexy. But like, come on, dog. Y'all are not helping the argument. <sighs> I'm glad y'all enjoyed that. Um... <laughs> other playstation news it looks like playstation niggas last week i dropped a video i did a stream <laughs> where i was talking about some data came out where basically it exposed playstation niggas don't buy games and it's looking like playstation niggas are trying to beat those allegations because rise of ronin rise of ronin was on the list there was a list that came out of top 25 best-selling games of um i think april and like may and most of it was like call of duty uh, Madden, FIFA, you know, the usually offend the usual offenders. Uh, but PlayStation niggas love to brag about PlayStation games that they don't buy, like the exclusives. It looks like the PlayStation Sony ponies are trying to push back because Rise of Ronin is outselling the Neo series, according to Ke uh, Koei Tecmo, which is interesting. That means Neo didn't really sell that well. Uh, but Rise of Ronin did crack the top 25 this month. Uh, April is the last day of April. It was ranked number 25. Maybe it moved up a couple slots. We don't know the data, but I just want to say. I'm proud of the PlayStation Nation for finally starting to buy some of those games that you claim that you love. Because for, for a second, it was looking a little crazy. I need you guys to keep supporting your platform. That way we can continue to get more cool exclusives. Also, the only other reason I wanted to bring this article up is um, for a group of niggas who sit on the internet and scream, this looks like a PS3 game. It seems to be selling really well because I was under the impression Neo 1 and 2 sold well. But no, Rise of Ronin, the PS3 game, the game that everybody hates. Oh, 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 PS3, grab me. You niggas are buying it. You niggas are buying it. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. I love articles like this. Just expose you fraudulent ass niggas. It's literally, this is the meme of uh, Russell, Russell Westbrook on the sideline eating the food and trying to like, you like the game. You like the game. Your favorite YouTuber said it was ass because it looks like a PS3 game. You're a fucking drone. You on Twitter in the comment section saying it looked like, <laughs> but you bought it. You spent your $70, okay? It's okay to, I like the game. It's like a solid seven, maybe 7.5, but it's not what I wanted it to be, but it's still not a terrible game. Is it worth 70 bucks? No, I'd say wait till a price drops because it's not what I wanted it to be. But just because something is a disappointment, it's not what you want it to be, doesn't mean that it's absolutely horrible. Um, Like how many times you was fucking with a chick and you was, you was excited to ba you bag her, right? You finally bag her and the pussy's kind of disappointing. You gonna stop? <laughs> you guys to see it through, my boy. Am I looking in? Hey, Rona, you just, you just, <laughs> you just came back and you dropping links. You wanna, hey, you wanna, hey, you wanna risk your account? Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Is this is this worth my time? Do you wanna risk your account? Let me know. That's the new rule to keep you from don't click it. The mods are already telling me that it's not good, man. I don't know. But no sex. Yeah, I don't be having sex. I, I'm lying. I'd be lying. Um, <laughs> what we got? A G.I. Joe Snake game is in the works that will be similar to Batman's Arkham games. It will be developed by Atomic Arcade, whose leadership is behind the Batman Arkham Asylum. What else have they made? I'm not familiar with this company. Wait, Rocksteady didn't make the first Arkham game? Am I missing something here? uh black men don't sin no that's facts black men do not sin they don't have any games other than gi joe on their website uh, 
is this the ESPN of gaming? What does that mean? <laughs> is, is that a compliment? I'm trying to figure is that a compliment. I don't know. I don't watch ESPN. Is that a compliment? Uh, there's nothing on the website about what games they made. Yeah, interesting. They, they didn't make Origins? No, Um, I think WB Montreal made Origins. Um, also, do y'all care about uh, G.I. Joe? It's the same topic about Stellar Blade with the hashtag. We moved past that, bro. They probably helped with it. That's probably what it is. Um, the biggest thing to take away, which honestly is a little surprising to a lot of people, is that Hasbro is, in fact, making video games. Oh, yeah, I have something about that. That must fall under the Hasbro thing. Okay, we can tie it into this. So apparently Hasbro, the toy maker, is jumping into video games. Uh, they announced they have four internal AAA studios so far. Over a billion dollars are currently invested in these studios and game developers. Uh, and they're making, wait, games in development. Sci-Fi's RPG Exodus. Okay. That game looks pretty good. Snake Eyes. That's for those of you where Exodus is the new game that's being made by, it's a new studio um, being made by ex-Bioware developers uh, that worked on Mass Effect. It's a new space game. Keep your eye on that one. That one looks pretty good. Um, quadruple A game. Snake Eyes. We just said that. Dungeons and Dragons game. I don't really care about that. And a horror game from Skeleton. Who's Skeleton? Our goals. Let's go to their studio. I'm not familiar with them. I care about it now that G.I. Joe and Optimus Prime will be in the same movie. I'm just trying to figure out, do the kids care about G.I. Joe anymore? I don't know anything about it. They don't got no games on their shit either. I don't know about them. About them. They, they got their studio mission. Where's your resume? Uh, so they don't got a pedigree. I don't know whether to be excited about that or not. Um, interesting. I never expected Hasbro to actually spend that much money on games. I wish they would just get someone else for the RPGs to do. My kids don't know G.I. Joe at all. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think the kids know. I could be wrong. I don't think they know. Uh, and I feel like G.I. Joe wouldn't appeal to modern day kids because I feel like one of the reasons why G.I. Joe was so popular was the cartoon. The cartoon is not popular anymore. And then also the action figures. Um, you know, kids back in the 80s used to, you know, used to bang your used to bang your action figures together. Psh, psh, psh. Batman versus the Flash who's much stronger. Like, do kids do kids do that anymore? Which is good for you, by the way, because it's imagination, creativity. Like, niggas got iPads now. They play Subway Surfers. So, like, I don't think they playing with G.I. Joe dolls. Uh, kids don't want military propaganda now. <laughs> oh, shit. You're not wrong. Ed, no wing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. So, keep your eye. Keep your eye on Hasbro because they're throwing their hat in the arena. Um, I guess one could argue that Hasbro is not toying around. Let's move on to the next topic. Mods, don't ban me. <laughs> uh, did you have action figures growing up? Did I? I did. I did. I, wa I wasn't super heavy into action figures, but I did have them. Um, I remember I, I definitely had um, the Power Rangers. You said womp womp fuck y'all i'm i'm 33 i can make a dad joke um i had i had the i had the power ranger action figures specifically who remembers i had ninja turtles too i have a picture of me as a kid i think i was like either two or three in the picture wearing um a ninja turtle shirt I, i've been a ninja turtles fan like all my life there's nothing fraudulent about it to the, and then i remember my mom told me that um my mom still has the shirt she says she wants to give it to my kid when i have one to her grandbaby she wants her to wear so basically they'll have my ninja turtle shirt from like the 90s I was like, you kept that shit? She's like, yeah, I still got it in this picture. I was like, oh, that's cool. Gotta have sex first. Um, but anyways, yeah, I had the power. You Y'all remember the Power Ranger action figure that used to flip? It, in the middle of the body, it would open up the torso, and then you could flip the head, and it would go from just a regular human to, like, the helmet Power Ranger. I had that shit. That shit was fire. Uh, when the new GI baby dropping? No, no time soon. I gotta find a woman that's lucky enough to want to have sex with me. Um... I had that toy. Yeah, that shit was fire. I'm trying to think if I had anything else. Um, I think I had some Transformers, but yeah, I wasn't super into it. I was a gamer. I was a gamer. Yeah, keep in mind, guys. I told my dad I'd sell my soul for Banjo-Kazooie. I was playing games, nigga. Oh. Yes, I actually said that. I didn't know what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> T-Bage kills me every time he says he's got to have sex first. I got to have sex first. Uh, so the niggas, what? Damn, imagine going to hell for Banjo. I didn't know. My dad just asked me because I was like, I was on the game a lot. I remember I had just got Banjo Kazooie. I was going crazy on it and I was playing it all day. And then my dad came in the room and sat in the bed. He's like, man, you on this game a lot. I was like, this shit is fire, bro. That's not what I said, but you know. He was like, man, you like this game that much? I was like, yeah. He's like, would you sell your soul for it? And I thought, I was like, yeah. I didn't know what that meant. I think I was like, when did Banjo Kazooie come out? I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I sell my soul. This shit is fire, bro. You see this, you see this nigga, this bird throwing eggs and shit. 
uh came out in 97 uh what depending on the month i was either six or seven years old i was i was a fucking kid i didn't know what that meant uh, <laughs> you said why ask a kid that i don't know i don't know that's dad's i guess <laughs> uh other news i got for y'all um i was just born i'm sorry to hear that square enix announced they will abandon the production of previously green greenlit hd games on console the total loss amounts to 22 billion yen which is 140 million usd moving forward they would be more selective in the development process which ip in which ips to work on i like this and i wanted to highlight this because i hope that more studios and more publishers do this one of the one of the arguments i've been making is um uh i feel like who told who told these developers and publishers everything has to be the biggest game ever they need to put 500 million dollars into every game um niggas is putting making 100 million dollar budgets for fucking dragon quest and i'm not <laughs> i get, dragon quest has its audience i don't know why that game came to my mind but it is a niche game niggas is putting 200 million dollars towards secret of mana secret of mana has a niche audience but it's not selling like call of duty so I think it's time for game developers to think about where they, you know, put their assets, maybe scale down on some of these games that they'll be more inclined to take risks. So I like hearing this news that they're saying, you know what? We had all these games in production. We're not sure if they're going to do too well. Fuck it. We're going to let them go. Think about what you're putting out because there's more competition than ever. You're spending more than ever. You need to be more precise with your punches. So I like this news and I hope more people copy this shit. We don't need a remaster of fucking some random RPG from fucking 1989, nigga. Nobody cares. Yo, shout out to Ra uh, Rashadi with the sub. Appreciate it. Um, I like this. I like this. That's a quick tidbit. Uh, you've been talking about companies should be pulling the plug earlier. That too. That too. That's another issue, I think. Um, if we're going to be dealing, because I think, I think personally we need to just move away from live services, but they are addicted to rolling the dice, <laughs> trying to see if their live service game will succeed. As long as niggas is still trying to get a live service game to pop off, one thing I do want to see is year one. If by year one, your shit is not successful, you need to consider cutting it off. You are wasting money. You are wait just make yeah, just make good games, bro. You are wasting money. You're on year two, three. How long would them servers for Avengers up? Which, which is funny enough, we're talking about Square Enix. They probably lost a lot of money. Fucking blow it up. Nobody cares. Nobody's playing the shit. An example being... Um, Suicide Squad, turn that shit off. Nobody cares. How many? How many? I feel like every other stream we talk about it. Steam, DB, Suicide Squad. They love live services because of Fortnite. Yeah, they love the idea of being the next big one, but it's so it's so, nigga. There's 130 people playing this game right now. And in the last 24 hours, not even 200 people have touched this game. Kill it. Take it out back. And when, and when I say take it out back, when I say take it out back, I'm not even talking about like nicely. Grab the dog by the collar. Let's go. Chick, chick. Let it go. Let it fucking go. You're wasting money, man. You're wasting assets. Nobody, the 132 people who are still on the game who might get mad, who cares? Who cares? You niggas will be all right. <laughs> yeah, let's take a walk. You'll be all right. If this shit, if this game, if an article comes out tomorrow, suicide, Rocksteady Suicide Squad shut down, I promise you none of us will care. I promise you. We'll bring up an article, we'll laugh, we'll, we'll tell like, damn, what went wrong? And then the very next day, we'll be over it. 30 he said 30 of them are hackers you're not wrong 30 of them niggas is boosted and hacking this shit is fucking crazy yeah it won't even trend we don't care you're wasting money rocksteady cut it off focus on the next game take you learn to uh, take your losses um next piece of news i thought this was pretty funny on the timeline um one of the greatest video games of all time is on sale for five bucks just a quick tidbit Sonic the Hedgehog, aka Sonic 06 on Xbox 360 is on sale for five bucks. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link right here for everybody. Um, so if you want to pick it up, Sonic fans swear he's never had a bad game. So I don't want you guys to miss out on one of the best in his series, Sonic 6, Sonic 06. It's only five bucks. Just putting that out there. Good for you. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has less active players than Marvel's Avengers. How is that possible? Didn't they shut this? When does article come out? Well, for, what? 
it has been just over three months since Suicide Squad was first released, and it seems live service Rocksteady's its live service title is still not performing well. It's safe to say that the Suicide Squad killed the Justice League has not had the best. Yeah, we know. Let's get to it. Recent reports on courtesy of Steam DB show that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League has hit an all-time new low with the concurrent players of just 118. This mark is below titles such as Marvel's Avengers more recently and Fallout. So wait, um, they shut the servers off for Marvel's Avengers. The only way I can wrap my brain around this. Can you still play Avengers single player? Is that is that what it is? Hold up. Steam D Marvel's Avengers. You can? Okay. I didn't know that. I thought they just took the game offline. I did not know you could play. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, Steve DB Suicide Squad. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just. Now, at this current time today, Suicide Squad has. 20 more players than Avengers. So this article is accurate. That means the numbers are con constantly fluctuating. There's a chance today Avengers could have more players. This is... <laughs> yeah, they're ba they're battling. This is the battle of the mediocre versus the fucking horrible. This is insane, bro. This is absolutely... Take the game out back and shoot it. If you want to if you wanna leave... They, they should take the Marvel Avengers route. People who paid for it, let them play if they want to play single player because this game does have a story. So yeah, leave it on people's hard drives. Let them play the single player if they want to play it. Treat it like an action adventure game. But the live service aspect, those servers are costing you money. Cut it out. Um, I would love to be a fly on the wall in one of these studios. Like, what's it like to be at a studio and just looking at the server number? Because you know they can see them. Looking at the data and knowing you worked really hard. Like, bro, like that shit is like really gut-wrenching, I would imagine. I feel bad for them. Um... Because although the game wasn't, it wasn't what we wanted it to be, I also still don't think it was as bad as like the some of these YouTubers made it out to be. This game, niggas had a hate boner for it. Uh, it had it had a, heat, uh, a hit piece done against it, and it never stood a chance. I think this game would have still never succeeded because it still just wasn't good enough. But it still, it never was even given the chance to succeed is what I'm saying, which is unfortunate because it might have. As Justin Bieber likes to say, never say never. And, I, and me personally, I believe you should at least get a chance at least get a chance i don't know uh it's the fact that wb said to double down on the live service after this too they said they doubling down fuck that fuck that um last story i got for you this is nothing to do with gaming but i thought it was funny so um what's the name dropped the video he dropped another nuke this nigga mkbhd is on his fucking his uh villain arc <laughs> A B H D. Da, 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 da. I just want to show how weird the internet is. So he dropped another video a day ago. It has four million views. I watched this one. It's about the Rabbit R1. It's another one of these AI companion devices. Basically, you're supposed to carry it around. It's like Siri. I don't know why anybody would want this shit, but it's worse because you need internet. Uh, you need to buy another internet connection, like a 5G connection. It costs two hundred dollars. I watched the video. The shit is pure trash. The the, the battery doesn't run. I mean, I said I've been saying all these devices look fucking trash. It serves no purpose. It doesn't do anything that your phone can't do, and it does it worse. And that's the gist of what he said, but he did it in a very nice way. And I put it on Twitter. I said, here come the think pieces. And lo and behold, 24 hours later, the think pieces. If MKBHD decided his initial videos were barely reviewable instead of posting and iterating, would he be here today? And this nigga ethered him. He said, good thing I never charged anybody for these videos. Shut your ass up, bro. And y'all know, and he's still polite and professional. You know how I feel about this shit. Y'all know how I feel about it. Like, I, I won't say it on Twitter, but I do feel like, yo, as a black man, you can't say nothing. That's what it really is. Because everybody, that last review he did and this review, go look it up on YouTube. Every tech influencer said that shit is trash. But for some reason, they only seem to don't like it when the black dude says it's trash. This is irresponsible with your power. I just don't like how you say it. It's giving slave master, uh, watch your tone, boy. You're getting a little too powerful vibes. That's what I'm, it's getting a little too powerful vibes. So I'm absolutely going to defend him. I don't like this shit. He's super professional. He doesn't even dunk on these fucking, uh, 
He doesn't even dunk on these companies. He's just honest. Like, what do you, what do you, you want us to buy back shit? Like, what are we talking about? I love that he's still professional when he responds back. Yeah, this guy, this guy gets it, man. He's got a good team behind him. He got, this guy gets it. Also shows that being articulate really doesn't matter to them. Yeah. He, he is a prime example of what Kanye, back when Kanye was good, once said, you still just a nigga in a coop to these people, bro. Because like I said, they don't, I, w I would not be bringing this up in conversation if they did this to every other review. Go watch one. And there's videos with hundreds of thousands and millions of views on this R1 Rabbit and that other device from like last week. They never talk about anybody else. They just bring this nigga up, bro. Go after everybody. If that's really how you feel, go after everybody. Otherwise, you're looking a little crazy. Uh, you're not subbed to MKBHD? I thought I am. If not, I watch it. No, I am. I was like, I watch, I watch his videos. What are you talking about, bro? Don't play me. He's, he's one person I do watch. He's good at his job. Um, being mad at a review is for reviewing is hilarious. And you know the crazy part is these be the same niggas talking about freedom of speech, stop censoring me. As soon as a nigga say this shit is trash, take his platform. <laughs> take his this is why this is why I don't take nothing seriously on the internet. Fucking take his platform from him, bro. That nigga don't know the better uh, like store the capital. <laughs> Uh, dude said not my pokedex also it's just weird to me that he posted out of all these you couldn't have posted a video maybe like from like a couple years into his journey that weren't the best you posted a video when he was like nine or some shit this shit is weird this is like fucking kid i don't know it's just weird i don't know i don't get it that's all i got for y'all though that's all i got for y'all today that was the video you went after this nigga trying to bully a fucking kid uh they be coming for you too anytime you said something slight is bad about a video game i don't like that shit this is some brand new info on Assassin's Creed Red Samurai. Oh my God. Ronan, do you feel like risking your account? 24 hours. Going once, going twice. Get rid of that. We finna get on Stella BBL though. Do you feel like risking your account? In this first video, man, just hit the oldest tab on YouTube. That's what, yeah, this man's back and doing a crazy funky fusion. Oh, I, I lied. We gotta go in the sub box. I lied, my bad. We can start with that. You gotta go in the sub box. Uh, what are you doing, dude? You gotta stop being weird. I wish you would like talk. This nigga drops his toy near my feet and just stares at it. Like, bro, could be a fucking weird. <laughs> Shout out to Oblivion with the weird ass 